A record number of Americans are using natural remedies to make them feel better. Natural supplements have become so popular, the government has tripled its budget for research into this kind of therapy. As WETM 18 health reporter Allison Walker explains, an aloe supplement has kept one Southern Tier woman off prescription drugs for a year. Basically, everything I eat pretty much goes right through me. Imagine being in your kitchen, knowing most of the stuff in there is going to give you diarrhea. Lisa Lance has a chronic intestinal disease called Crohn's. She's taken prescription drugs to stop her from running here every time she eats. But her prescription pills had bad side effects. I had trouble sleeping, my hands shake. So last year, Lance decided to try something else. The one flavor nobody likes. An aloe supplement. Aloe vera is a plant. It's been put in powder form. You add water and drink it. Lance heard about it from a friend who got the idea from a wellness consultant. Natural health experts say an aloe vera supplement contains anti-inflammatory fatty acids that may help you digest food. So Lance did something you're never supposed to do. She slowly worked her way off prescription pills, then told her doctor. But he let her go on without the pills. I can eat my foods now without worrying about where I am when I eat. I can do something after I eat. But an Almira gastroenterologist is not convinced about the aloe idea. I've also discussed this with some associates that uh, we're not aware of what the scientific evidence about, about use of aloe products in inflammatory bowel disease. Lance admits this stuff isn't a miracle, but good enough that she'll reorder it. I still have a bad day now and then, but nothing like before. In Horseheads, I'm WETM 18 health reporter Allison Walker.